Salut à tous les amis, on est de retour pour la suite de notre aventure sur Sherlock Holmes. On s'est arrêté ici la fois dernière et on va continuer, évidemment, la quatrième enquête de l'aventure. Let's go Et on a une lettre à visionner. Ok... A wax seal with the monogram E B. Okay. The Brackenstall family coat of arms. Okay. Alors, je serai résultat d'avoir votre concours immédiat pour ce qui est promis d'être une affaire les plus remarquables de tout à fait. Hein. Je me suis borné de livrer mes pour le reste. Je verrai à ce que tout reste exactement dans l'état que j'ai trouvé en contrepartie. Je vous prie de ne pas perdre un instant. Car il est du filet, ok, 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 ok. So, what is it, Holmes? Promising, as always, it appears to be a case of murder. So you believe that Sir Eustace is dead? I should say so. Lestrade wouldn't have sent for me, for less. His writing shows considerable agitation, and he is not an emotional man. These people belong to high society. The quality of the writing paper, the E.B. monogram, their coat of arms. The crime was committed before midnight. Holmes, how can you possibly tell? Well, it is all thanks to Lestrade. He wrote his letter at 3.30 in the morning. Imagine the chain of events before that. The local police had to be called in. Scotland Yard was notified. Lestrade himself had to make haste there and finally compose the letter he sent to me. All of that makes for a fair night's work. It makes sense. Lestrade also speaks of the woman he released. And that seems to indicate that she had been held somewhere during the crime. Much time has been wasted. Let us find a cab and go to Abbey Grange immediately. I live in hope of an interesting morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alors, enquêter sur le meurtre au manoir de l'abbaye. Euh, ok, ok, ok. On va aller directement à l'abbaye. L'abbaye Grange, ça s'appelle. Ok. <coughs> Désolé. Let's go. Alors on est dans la quatrième enquête, hein. il y en a six au total, apparemment. Ah, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson, here you are. I'm very glad that you have come, but perhaps I should not have troubled you after all. And why is that? Lady Brackenstall has come to the <coughs> city, and she has given so clear an account of the affair, <coughs> there is not much left for us to do. You remember that Lewisham gang of burglars? What, the three Randalls? Exactly. The father and two sons. It's their work. They stole a silver service, which is of great value. Sir Eustace Brackenstall is dead, then? Yes. His head was knocked in with his own poker. A violent act of aggression. Yes, the poor lady. She has had a most dreadful experience. She was assaulted and tied to a chair. But I think that you would best see her and hear her account of the facts. She's in the morning room with her maid, Theresa Wright. Where is the body of the deceased? In the dining room. We haven't touched anything. All right. I'm going to examine it. Very good. Désolé. OK. Alors, combien de l'âge qui est dégénéré en un meurtre le crâne fracassé, oh là. Inspecter la pièce. Ok. Bon. Lady Brackenstall awaits you in the morning. Ok. Ladies, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting Inspector Lestrade in this investigation. Mr. Holmes, I am the wife of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. We were married only a year ago. I am sorry for your loss. 
Please accept my deepest condolences. I suppose that it is no use my attempting to conceal that our marriage has not been a happy one. I fear that all would tell you that, even if I were to attempt to deny it. Can you describe to me the events of yesterday evening? Is that really necessary? I have already told Inspector Lestrade all that happened. Yes, madam, it is. I will tell you then. Sir Eustace retired about half past ten. I sat in this room until after eleven, absorbed in a book. Before I went upstairs, I entered the dining room to fetch a candle and... Oh, God. Please, go on. As I approached the French window, I found myself face to face with an elderly, broad-shouldered man who had just stepped into the room. Close behind the first man, I saw two others. One of them struck me a savage blow with his fist and felled me unconscious to the ground. <coughs> and then? When I came to myself, I found that they had secured me tightly to a dining room chair. It was at that instant my unfortunate husband entered the room. He fought with the intruders? Yes, I think he had heard them, for he was holding his stick. But they were three, and he eventually succumbed. One of them, the elder one, struck him a terrible blow <coughs> with his <coughs> Did I? I fainted once more. When I opened my eyes, they had withdrawn. Then my brave Teresa came to my assistance. Did these three villains steal anything? Yes, I found that they had taken the silver from the sideboard. But you can see for yourself in the dining room. Mmh. Elle a un gros coquard sur la tronche en tout cas. Hein. Ok. Il euh. joue pâle. Une broche en or. D'origine australienne. Une robe élégante. <coughs> Des bleus anciens, mais décidément. Et une alliance. Ok. You mentioned that your marriage was not a happy one. Was there anything specific that was troubling you? He was not a nice man when he was drunk. And he suffered from dark moods, but nothing else. The bruises on your hands are at least one week old. Your husband caused those bruises? Oh, do you? Yes, he did. He was very angry at the time. Out of control. Again. Sir Eustace was a drunkard. To be tied to such a man for life is worse than death. Your Inspecter la scène de crime dans la salle à manger. Ok. T'as rien à me dire, toi Teresa, I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, sir. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then I went to bed. And it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. Ok. Alors, voyons voir. Jaride. Ok, sollicitude. Tâche de café. Et mouchoir. Enfin, main de travailleuse, ok. Ok, on a Teresa 
Il est dit Bracken euh, Store, ok. New Moon, deux semaines, la femme d'une du compréhendeur qui porte le nom de Randall a fait parler d'elle, on a commenté une instruction du 1. La police réclame le fait terme, mais il des crimes, y compris le nom de la victime de meurtre confidentielle. Je la police au grand nom, c'est occasion de chercher avec toi, nous allons prendre part du Ok, une quarantaine, cheveux gris, Jack Randall. L'écran est large avec une épaule, quand un, il est il est plus jeudi, j'ai maigré. <coughs> ok. La description de la gang de Randall, provided par Lady Brackenstall, est identique à la que dans le Times article. Ok. On a un premier point. Pour l'instant, on a ça. Déjà un bon point. These scratches are most definitely made by the picture frame. Oh ho! This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. Ok. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No, it is my husband's safe. I do not know the combination. We have to open it. Your ladyship? My mistress is very tired. Can't you allow her to... Her oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. The body is still in the dining room where the murder took place. Tu peux voir le tableau là Lord Ramsay Brackenstall. Ah, c'est lui. Lord Brigham Brackenstall. Ok. Sir Wartham Brackenstall. Oh, il a fichu toute sa famille. Lord George Brackenstall. Oh, yeah. Il a fichu toute la famille. Baron Lyndon Brackenstall. Où est-ce qu'on peut aller là maintenant Bon, on va aller là-bas alors. Oh là You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. Ok, on va inspecter déjà tout ce qu'il y a dans cette zone. Antique hunting weapons. Ok. On n'a pas besoin de courir là parce qu'on est c'est une zone très peu très petite. Alors. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. Mm -hmm. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. Mm-hmm. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. A bottle of wine is missing here. The criminals did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. The hunting scene. Ok. Bon. A decanter standing next to the open bottle. An inseparable pair indeed. Chateau Calon Ségur. French wine. Grand Cru. Chateau Calon Ségur. <laughs> There is bees wing at the bottom. As if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. En plus, ils sont bien transparents. Hein. 
This glass has some wine traces, but no visible bees. On voit même à travers le truc. Hein. This glass has some wine traces. Non, mais c'est bon, on va pas vérifier tout. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses ah. has dregs of bees. Attends, attends, attends. Ah, c'est bon. Ok. Alors, voyons le cadavre. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. Trois personnes ont bu dans les verres d'une d'elles a pris a préféré le vin avec lui. Ouais, je crois que c'est ça. Hein. Il y a trois verres. Donc il y avait trois personnes. That must be the murder weapon. Quite a large stick, a formidable weapon. Mm -hmm. Barefoot. He had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. Ça c'est sûr même. Ça c'est sûr. Plus là. Barefoot. Quite a. Ah. It is covered in blood. So Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Plutôt le coup mortel, parce qu'il est tombé sur le coup. Hein. C'est plutôt le coup mortel. Death was instant. Ok, on peut même explorer dehors, d'accord. Attendez, avant de, de faire quelque chose ici. Alors on vient de là. Sailors not. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound. To follow their trail, I will take it with me. This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. Récupérer Toby à Baker Street et suivre le et suivre le dehors. Okay. D'accord. A deer hunt. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently, the criminals did not venture there. Donc on peut pas y aller. Bon, le cadavre c'est bon. L'autre il est parti. On va essayer d'explorer un petit peu dans le jardin. Peut-être on aura des indices, mais je pense pas qu'on aura des indices tout de suite puisque. 
puisque... Puisqu'on n'a pas le chien encore. Peut-être ce sera à ce moment-là qu'il faudrait utiliser... L'odeur, pour voir s'il n'y a pas des petites choses à l'intérieur. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. Your ladyship? Please leave my Mary alone. She... Bon, on va aller directement à Baker Street. On va analyser quelques petites choses. See how the rope will cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. Le cordon a été coupé net avec un couteau aiguisé qui nouait rapidement à l'aide de nœuds de marin. Ces éléments peuvent indiquer que l'intrus est un marin. Mm -hmm. Ok, l'intrus est un marin. Come on, Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. Okay. Bon, bah, retourne là-bas. Sérieux, tu, tu, j'incarne le chien, c'est une blague. Ah. J'incarne le chien, Rodel. entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. perdu la trace là. Ah non, c'est là. 
Et là, je reviens ici. En fait, il n'y a plus rien ici à faire. Je vois pas d'autre issue là. Une partie par là. Une partie par là, mais ça ramène ici en fait. Faut que j'ouvre ça, non Ah là, il y a une partie par là. Autant pour moi. J'avais pas vu l'endroit. Bon. Merci mon petit. Bon, on va aller voir le, la remise du coup. Ok. On va aller voir le puits. Oh. There's something glittering at the bottom there. But how can I reach it? If only I had something with which I could lift that object. If only I had something with which I could lift that object. The wheel handle is old and rusty. It seems to be used infrequently. Mm -hmm. Donc il faut que j'utilise un objet. If only I had something with which I could lift that quelque chose de... Il faut que je soulève quelque chose. Ah oui, bon voilà. <rire> ok. J'ai récupéré en plus. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça mmh. Ok. Une fourchette, d'accord. Ils l'ont mis dans un puits. Pourquoi J'en sais rien. Alors, nous allons pour récupérer leurs entrées dont ils se sont séparés. C'est sûr qu'ils sont coupables. Hein. Cette affaire est trop simple pour moi. Profitons-en pour laisser notre ami l'extrait de tirer la gouverneur. Mmh. Et puis, ne témoin de mon échec. Euh, euh... mmh. <rire> 
Oui, je confirme mon moral. <rire> well, Inspector, this case proved to be a simple one after all. You think it's the Randall gang, then? Yes. I'll put my men on it straight away. I'll leave that to you, Inspector. After all, you have handled this matter quite brilliantly. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. I do appreciate it. Bon, ben c'est une affaire qui se finit assez rapidement. <rire> Donc on va, on va s'arrêter à là, tout simplement, et on va enchaîner euh, la quête, enfin euh, l'enquête, la, la cinquième enquête, lors d'une prochaine vidéo, hein, comme je, je fais jusqu'à maintenant, on fait enquête par enquête. Donc c'est l'enquête la plus courte que j'ai faite. Donc tant mieux. Donc euh, on entame le début de la cinématique comme à chaque fois. On s'arrêtera là. Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Clones? Where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, how ever did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Okay. Uh, tic, tic, tic. Trouver les plantes volées durant la dernière exposition des Grey Garrens. Au jardin botanique, rien de cuir, l'enquête de Holmes se révèle un peu. Ok. Bon. Bah, je pense qu'on va s'arrêter à là, les amis. Hein. Pour cette partie, n'hésitez pas à partager et abonnez-vous. Et on se retrouvera pour la suite lors d'une prochaine vidéo. Et on entamera sûrement l'avant-dernière enquête de l'aventure. À la prochaine. Ciao, bye bye.